Welcome to our Walled Garden online tutorial. This video highlights the features in Centre Details and Centre Preferences. These are new features. From the home page, select the Settings tab from the first navigation bar. A second navigation bar will appear, and from this you should choose Centre Settings, which will now be highlighted in bold. If you are a main centre, you'll have the option to choose your sub-centre to view relevant information about the centre on this page. This option is only visible at main centre level. If your centre works with both ILM and City and Guilds, you'll be able to choose between the two. The button will turn blue when selected. There will be two tabs, Centre Details and Centre Preferences. If you're a primary user, you will also see a third tab, Manage Users. The Centre Details section contains address details for your centre, question papers, delivery address, billing address and delivery of materials. All users can view these details, but only the following user profiles can edit them. A primary user can edit all address fields. A secondary user can edit only the delivery of materials address. A finance user is able to edit only the billing address. To edit an existing address, click on the blue Edit Address button next to the one you want to change. You'll be presented with a pop-up screen with the address field to edit. For the delivery address, you have options to edit, delete or enter a new address. To create a new address, click the blue Enter a new address button. You'll be presented with a pop-up screen with address fields to complete and again a red asterisk denotes mandatory fields. You will also have the option to use the Find an Address feature. Enter the street name or postcode for the address and select from the search options presented. Address fields will automatically be completed once an address is selected. Once you've entered the address details, click the Create Address button at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like this to be your centre's default delivery address, just check the tick box under the address details. If your centre works with both ILM and City and Guilds, you have the option to apply this change to both by checking the tick box. You'll get an on-screen notification and an email confirming that the change request has been received. This change will take up to five working days to be updated, and you'll also get an email notification when this has been done. To edit, click the grey Edit button. You'll be presented with a pop-up screen with the address fields to edit. To delete a delivery address, click the grey checkbox. You'll get an on-screen dialog asking you to confirm that you would like to delete this address. Click OK to do this. You will get an on-screen notification and an email confirming that the request has been made, and the address will take up to five working days to be deleted. You'll receive notification when this has been done. When a change or deletion is pending, the address will be highlighted in pink until the change has been made. The Centre Preferences tab contains options relating to certification and invoicing for your centre. All users can view these details, but only the following user profiles can edit them. A primary user can edit all fields. A finance user can only edit the invoicing field. Within the Invoicing section, you can select from the drop-down menu regarding how and when you receive invoices. Within the Certificates option, you can choose how often certificates should be dispatched to you. Certificate of Unit Credit Opt-in or Out allows you to select whether you'd like CUCs to be dispatched. The White Paper On or Off selection relates to the results list being dispatched with certificate orders. Notification of Candidate Record On or Off relates to the Notification of Candidate Results piece of White Paper being dispatched. Once you have amended any of these options, click the green Save Changes button at the bottom right of the screen. You'll get an email confirmation that the changes have been implemented within five working days. We hope that you have found this tutorial useful. Check out our online resource hub for further information.